Hi friends, today we are going to show you how we can simplify the purchase order screen, especially the header portion. So what we are going to do uh, here, if you notice, we have the status thing. And here there's lots of space where I can put some more data like the org data stuff I can put here. I can put the delivery invoice if I want, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'll just show you how we can move the org data stuff into the status tab and we can hide this so you know and later on using the same concept you can add other stuff so how we can do that so first thing we are going to do is we go to SICF transaction so let's go into SICF SICF and here I select uh, personas and here I execute. Here I'll right click on it and I click test service. The moment I do that, okay, I have to log in. So I'm logging in again. And so I'll hit the password. And here, here I am. And uh, this is. This is opening and it will take me to the purchase order screen. And here I'll create a new flavor. So, so eventually it will open and again, and this will simplify and you can, you can add other stuff. So I'll probably add a new button and all those things. So let's see. So here you can see this P. You click on this P. And now here you can see, I'll just click a new flavor. That's it. So I'll just create a new flavor, zero, uh, zero test, zero, merge, tab. Yes, I just give a name. I click on create. So eventually this will open up. Uh, one thing, especially with personas, is you need to have a little bit patience when you're building the screens because it's a little bit slow, uh, but you have to go through it once you are so here let me show you what what i'm talking about so here if you see this is the status tab right so here i clicking if you see if i double click on it, it takes some time to show up okay. so now this is showing up the status now what i'm going to do is if you notice i go to our data if i double click on it so here I think I'll click on it. Yes. So here are it. So here, what I'm going to do is I'll select all these fields. Okay, one by one. So what I'm I click on this and I hold the control key and select one by one. Okay. So, so I'll select all this because all this information are useful. And what I'm going to do, and then I will drag it here and keep it. Next thing is, I'll click on this org data and I'll click on hide. Now, I'll go to the status tab from where, where I will copy this data to. Okay. So, let me see. So, now it's showing up. Now, I'll select all of this. The shift key doesn't work. You have to select the control and start clicking. <coughs> so here, if you notice, one by one by one. And we will drag it here. And now you see, this is merged. Now what we are going to do, I'll create um, Probably I can create another button also. So I'll create a insert transaction button and here I'll say invoiced. So you can see um, invoice list. Okay. I'll also see all the invoices and here I just put FPL1 and I click on done and here I'll just move it here. And if you want, we can put a different color. I go to here, I click on fill 
all this and I put suppose I put in green okay and this one I can click on this and I click on bold this shows as bold and I click on save and once I save it and I click on click on exit you notice now I exit from here so now if you notice that our data is gone we have this merged very pretty nice and you can make it like all these tabs you can hide it you can make only two tabs or something you know because there's lots of spaces here you can build okay and now if I want to select I can click on the invoice list and that would that should take me to FPL one so that's it Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and if you'd like it, share and subscribe to it.